Come on. Oh, now we're flying backwards whilst the plane is facing forwards. This is very good. Let's see if we can get out of this. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, give it a second. I can't even tell where the water's at. Oh, we're coming in a little, little nose heavy. It's fine. Oh, damn. Pull that sucker off. Neat. It was perfect. I'm gonna go aggressive on the. Oh, there it goes. Into a dive. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, come on. I wanna fly this thing upside down. All right, everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're doing more aerobatics in planes that should not be doing aerobatics. We're starting off with the Icon A5. I don't even know if this is a real plane, to be honest. I've never seen of it, never heard of it. It just looks like something that you definitely should not be doing aerobatics in, and we're going to give it a shot right off the bat. All right, we are currently flying very near the ceiling, the flight ceiling of this thing. It says 15,000 feet on the, on the little stats page that you get when you start, so we're going to attempt a roll, do a complete roll. Maybe this thing is an aerobatic plane, and I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. Here we go. This thing, oh, we're dropping like a rock. Oh, dear. That is rapidly going down. That's why we went up as high as we did. Pulling out of it. I would love to know how many Gs we're pulling right now. There we go. We were going rapid there for a second. We were going very quickly. I don't even, I wasn't paying attention, but that airspeed was much higher than it should have been. All right, time for a barrel roll. We're gonna bump these flaps down because I think it'll be useful. I honestly don't know. It is making it hard to nose down with these flaps out. We got some good airspeed. Go time. Get the lift, get the nose over. Oh yeah. Easy money. Easy money. This thing is actually doing very, very good. Interesting. We're going to stall this sucker out now. I wonder if this thing can land on water. It looks like it should be able to. All right. We're going to slow this thing down to bare minimum airspeed with the flaps fully out. We'll see what she does. All right. We're just barely floating. Going to drop her a little further down. A little further down. And nose up. See if we can... Oh, there we go. This thing's going to be hard to stall because it's nose heavy. Not gonna be able to do a flat spin. Let's take these flaps up and see if we can get it to actually do a little bit more. Getting that stall whistle. Oh, keep her nose up. Oh. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, this thing, it, it'll it spin, but it, it won't stay going. It's too nose heavy. There's no weight on the back of it. And it's, of course, blowing air over the rudder and everything. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this thing to do it very well. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, give it a second. Full left rudder, nose down. Oh, come on, baby. You got this. There we go. There we go. That was neat. That was a good one. It's much easier to do it in smaller planes, that's for sure. Those bigger ones that we did last time do not like to do it. All right. That was good. Let's grab another plane. Here's just something you don't see every day. A Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. We are quite high on this thing because we're over Sedona and this thing is a water plane. Of course, it's not going to be able to take off on the ground. They want us to go down to 27,000 feet. I don't think so, buddy. We're going we're gonna to send this sucker into a roll right off the bat and see if she can recover. This thing is fat and slow, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be able to. We got 50,000 feet to drop before it becomes a problem, but... Uh-oh. Come on, baby. You are very slow to roll. You're a slow roller, that's for sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nailed it. There's overspeed. Engines would be exploding by now if we had damage turned on. Easy money. Easy money. Easy money. Now, now the real test begins. Let's get some airspeed. There's the speed. We're hitting 30,000 feet. Let's pop those flaps down. I had to take them back in. I forget that this, that these bigger, slower planes, when you put the flaps down, it slows them way down. Here we go. Up and over. This may end up in a stall instead of an up and over, but here we go. Loop-de-loop. -loop. What's the actual technical term for a loop-de-loop? -loop? I have it saved on my phone somewhere, I'm sure. 
Come on. Oh, now we're flying backwards whilst the plane is facing forwards. This is very good. Let's see if we can get out of this. Oh. Oh. Nailed it. I don't know if we're going to be able to stall this thing either. Oh, we are actively stalling it, but we'll be all right. There we go. Get that speed back. She, easy money. She's fine. All right. I teleported us up a couple thousand feet. And by a couple thousand, I mean 30,000 feet. It is wild to see that just giant panel of engine RPMs over there. Kind of crazy. All right. We're going to try this once more. Nose down. Flaps up. We just crossed into Albuquerque, New Mexico airspace. Not that that matters. Get some speed. Get some speed. I want massive speed. Lots and lots of speed. Like I'm Trevor Phillips from GTA 5. Living on speed, brother. Keep going, plane. 42,000 feet. We've got some time. This thing, oh, my controller's buzzing like a madman right now. Okay, flaps down. This thing naturally wants to go up. So let's go up. I'm pretty sure all planes do that, not just this one. Get that nose over. Come on, plane. You can do this. We just got to get that nose over backwards so you're not pointed straight vertical this time. Come on. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, come on. The nose is over. Finish the backflip. Finish the loop-de-loop, -loop, whatever you want to call it. Oh, she's going to... Oh, oh. Oh. Count it, brother. Take that to the bank and count it. We probably should have upped the flaps there, but I think it helped that time, so that's good. We're going to count it. Goodbye, indeed. Not half bad. Damn, look at the interior of this thing. It is very, very quiet in here as well. We have the power drawn way back. Dang, this thing is a big boy. Is that a freezer back there? Somebody can have some steaks back there. All right, we are approaching bare minimum airspeed. Throttle all the way back. Oh, she does. She's this one's not going to spin. I guarantee this one's not going to spin. She's way too big. Come on, give her some rudder and lean into it. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one to stall. It's too big. It's not maneuverable enough to really get into a flat spin. She's way too fat. I do, however, have an idea. Editor zoom. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you will in a second. I wonder how fast I'm supposed to be going for this, but we're probably, eh, we're doing 100. We're almost at minimum airspeed, technically, whatever that little green bar means. I think we'll be all right. We're going to throttle back a little bit. In fact, we're just going to shut them off. We're going fast enough. We should just be able to, just be able to float this sucker in. I can't even tell where the water's at. Oh, we're coming in a little, little nose heavy. It's fine. Oh, damn. Damn near pulled that sucker off. Neat. It was perfect. Pretty sure we'd be dragging bottom because I don't think this lake is that big, but not bad. I wonder how easy slash difficult it is to land in, in water like that. A DC-3, a Douglas DC-3. This thing definitely not going to be meant for doing aerobatics. It is a very old plane. Look at that landing gear going in ever so slowly. It's nice that it actually does go up a little bit, though. All right, we have moved clear away from Sedona, and we are now over, I believe, Salt Lake? somewhere yes we're in salt lake center airspace but i don't know if we're actually near salt lake i'm pretty sure it's i am not anywhere close probably this is another big slow boy it's not i mean it's not that big but it is very slow i think first things first we're gonna do our roll as per usual this is the last plane we are gonna go try some other stuff maybe in a helicopter we shall see she looped pretty good we are going very rapid, which good. that's good. That leads us into the... Wow, if I could speak. The ability to do a barrel roll. We are way over speed. Let's get those flaps down as high as they'll go. Watching our altitude. 17, 18,000 feet. Flaps are down as far as we can get them for the moment. Come on, do a loop. Dang, that sucker. It was eager to do a loop because we were going way too fast for it. Not bad. Stayed in the green or above the whole time. Holy crap, this thing would be falling apart by now. Well, that was relatively easy. This thing is actually pretty maneuverable. I was not expecting that. Maybe it's just because we were going so quick. I don't know. All right, let's slow her down. What is that noise? Can we hear it inside? No, you can't. I don't think the engines like being this slow. I don't think they're supposed to be this slow. Yep, there's that. Yep, I know. Nose up and some rudder. She's not wanting it to be a little more aggressive this time, shall we? She's just wanting the nose down. No surprise. Maybe we'll add a little bit of flaps. Maybe just a little bit of flaps. Keep the lift going. See if we can get it. Oh, come on. There we go. That's a good one. Power back into it. 
Yeah, she pulled out of that easy. A little bit of rudder. A lot of bit of rudder. Nope, she's just going straight down again. Oh, she she really dove for it that time. Come on, give me the spin. Give me something. I'm being aggressive with it. I want it to do something. We're just flying upside down right now is all we're doing. All I got to do to get out of this is throttle down and we pull right out of it. All right, last attempt. We're going to add a little bit more rudder into this as we're going. Before we get it to stall out too much. Throttle back down to minimum before it starts freaking out at us. We go aggressive on the... Oh, there it goes. Into a dive. Oh, now we're talking. Nope. It just did that on its own. That was a good one, though. That is the last we'll be doing of that. Let's check out a helicopter. Let's do some stuff in a helicopter. I don't know exactly what I'll be able to do in a helicopter because I've never flown a helicopter in this game before. We're going to give it a shot. We are actually going to go to Salt Lake because I was trying to find it last time and we're going to use a helicopter this time. So we're going to start here. I think this bell is the only helicopter I have. So let's see what we got. I wonder if these are real people or if they're just... Oh, that one might be a real person. Interesting indeed. Okay, anyway, over, over to the lake. All right, we are over what is Antelope Island, even though it's not an island. It hasn't been for a long time. All right, we are over the lake. We're going to let this thing stabilize for a second. All right, that's probably as good as we're going to get. We're just going to go... I'm going to crank this thing straight to the right as hard as we can and see what happens. We're going to go straight into the water because we're dropping like a rock. Okay, let's go full collective and try and not crash this thing right off the bat. That would have killed the helicopter, I'm pretty sure. All right, 15,000 feet. Collective at full tilt. We're going to get her over and then drop it to zero. See if we can actually get this thing to... Nope. Oh, come on. I want to fly this thing upside down. We are not going very quickly down our, our negative speed. Okay, well, actually, we are. Oh, just let go. There we go. It stabilized itself right off the bat. That was kind of neat. Got her calmed down a little bit. Only dropped 4,000 feet. No biggie. And straight forward. Let's see what happens. That's really screwing with that inertia. See if it'll stabilize with full forward on the collective. See if it'll... What, I'm just here to see what happens at this point. Looks like a movie. Kind of stabilized. We're dropping like a rock. Let's let off and see if it'll fix itself again. Very nice. Very nice. Only dropping slowly now, kind of. What happens if we go full back now? Same, basically the same thing. Okay. I'm going to have to fly helicopters a little bit more and see what happens. Because I do not know how to handle these things in this game. Not at all. Dropping out of the sky in a helicopter is a little bit easier than it is in a plane. Just because there's still some lift. Very little, but there's some. The collective won't go all the way to zero because then I think the motor would overspin. But getting close to the ground, 4,000 feet. I forget the way that... Oh, that was too much. I forget the way the altimeter works in this game is even when we're on the ground. We'll still be a couple thousand feet off of the ground, so let's... Not let this thing bounce super hard into the ground. Oh! Nailed it. That would have killed the helicopter, I'm pretty sure, because we hit it 600, negative 600 vertical speed, I think. Which is too much. Ideally, you want, like, I don't know, maybe less than five? Something like this. Nice and gentle. We probably shouldn't be leaning to the left or moving when we do it, but there you go. That's kind of what you want, and we hit it. We hit it, oh, at half that speed, basically. Either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That was something interesting. I will see you guys in the next video.